Hello guys. Good evening. Good evening. Today we are looking grade 12 question paper. We are looking two question paper today. We are looking question paper for 2019 grade 12 maths paper one so guys like and subscribe if you are new in that channel so let's continue we are looking to graph today we are looking parabola and exponential so that take a screenshot for question that you are going to use in this question please like and subscribe and help our students for the 12 good luck and trial write your trial good so today's question we are looking graph okay let's continue make sure you are doing a screenshot of that paper or download that paper so after the end of video, I will share my contacts for sharing for more information or if you want to link for downloading question paper, I will give you. Okay, let's continue today. The hyperbola discouragement, the graph of hyperbola is first A over X plus P with the asymptote y equals to zero and y equals to one okay we need to find the value of p when we need to find the value of p is a cutting x value of p so y equals to negative p because p when it come out it must change a sign so p equals to negative one because of that asymptote of equation. Let's continue 4.2. Consider the graph g of x equals to a over x plus p and f of x equals to x squared plus bx minus 3. Okay, we need to show that a equals to 3 and b equals to 2. We have a point of d. We are taking that point to find that a. Okay. And b is a point of intersection of that two graph. Okay, we put negative 3 on the y and we put our 1 that you will find in the question of that we cross multiply we find three so we find a we need to find b now f of x equals to, we put our one on the f of x one 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 plus negative three equals to two for oh, our answer is coming let's continue We need to find the coordinate of C. And coordinate of C is a turning point. So we have a question of asymptote for parabola. B minus B X minus B over 2A. Okay, we take B and A to find that point. Okay. Show the turning point x equals to 2 and uh, our 1 divided by equals to x equals to minus 1 2 and 2 I cancel so we take that 1 into the original equation when we want to find our y our y equals to negative 3 coordinate of t equals to Open brackets, minus 1, comma, 4, minus negative 4. Let's continue. Okay, we need to find 
the range range when you need to find the range range is a turning point you take turning point and a parabola so range is naked range is f of x greater than negative 4. okay i will show you on the our question how the answer is coming from range is equals to negative 4 greater than negative 4 let me show you we take negative 4 here our range is starting here to up on this question to up on this question this is a range this is a range this is a range okay continue let's continue Let's continue. We need to find the equation of this through the line C. So it's a straight line. And we have 45 angle. Okay. We know the gradient is equal to tan theta. We take that 45 in tan theta and the tan theta equals to negative equals to 1. Sorry for that thing. So the equation of straight line equals to y mx plus c and we have a coordinate of c we use coordinate that question chosen okay one negative one and negative four so we make c subject the formula and we have one that we find in the another question equals to negative theorem hence equation is Okay, we have a question of the third line. Let's continue. We need to check if the straight line of y equals to is the tangent of the graph. Ah, it's not tangent because it's cutting on D and C. It's not a tangent. You cut twice. Let's see. The straight line chosen the graph of f at c hence is not a tangent you see the answer is not a tangent because we know tangent is touching through the equation you see you see Okay. Let's continue. We need to find the value of M and Q, which H of X equals to f of x open brackets m minus x close brackets plus q hence only one intercept equals to x equals to zero okay we have one intercept in the equation so you use the equation of f of x in the value of x you put x you put m minus x yeah you see so now we need to use a discouragement and the discouragement is the number on the square root of the equation is formula of quadratic okay you see b squared minus 4 ac equals to zero this equation number one Let's look at equation number two. We put m squared when the value of x we put zero. 
therefore m equals to negative 2 okay hello guys thank you for learning our extra class please like and subscribe for the next our video i love you so much thank you so much